Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video Trude, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms, where two of our greatest to oldest enemies uh, are pretty much at death's door. Cao Cao is down to his last territory, uh, and Jian Tan, I believe he's uh, not quite down to his last, but he's uh, on the flipping ropes here. Today, we might just be able to finish off both of them. But when we do, things are going to change, actually, because, uh, yeah, we're not just jumping straight into the Sun Zhan campaign after that. We need to have a great big think about how we're going to set up the North, and... Uh, there's some interesting stuff to go over there. We'll get to that in a minute. For the time being, before we start talking about the peace, we have to, you know, win the war. So isn't it bloody lucky that Mi Heng is right here, ready to do precisely that? So, technically this army would probably like another turn to relax, but screw it. They should be able to handle this. So, get in over here and uh, she's on the flippin' run. Now, by any chance, can we get her... Oh, hang on. We might be able to do this all in one flipping go. If we attack her right now, she can't run anymore. These guys are getting pulled in, but so's the garrison from Yi. Hang on, how good's the state of the garrison right now? Actually, pretty damn good shape, actually. Oh, please let me be in range. Oh, yes we are. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely flipping perfect. We're going to pretty much wipe out everything Yantan has left. In fact, we're pretty much looking at Yantan's government right here. There's the Grand Excellency. We got ourselves a Chancellor right there as well. You're just a general though. Right, so two parts of the core government are about to go down. Flipping love it. Oh, this is perfect. Big flat plain and even better, they've got to go uphill against us. Marvellous. And bear in mind, yeah, my reinforcements are fairly significant. Their reinforcements are pretty much nothing. So... Uh, I'm happy to fall back, make sure my reinforcements have time to get into position, because uh, my reinforcements, I'd like them to be on the front line, because this is just garrison troops, so uh, if they take a few light knocks, doesn't really matter, that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. These troops, I'd prefer not to do any actual fighting if we can avoid it, because I'd like them to move straight up into Yan Tan's territory to finish him off once and for all. Though as I do have some forward deployable cavalry and they don't, how about yes... My entire cavalry corps hidden in the trees right here. Could you guys get yourselves hidden? Because that would be spot on if you could. There we go. All four units hidden inside the trees. Lovely. So basically, yeah, they can just wipe out these here archers. Everything should be good. Ah, yes, and me, Hang, I believe you very recently unlocked flammable rounds. So now you've got the explosive rounds too. Better and better. No flaming arrows for your archers, though, tragically. Ah, yes, and Gan Yen probably gets to engage in her first duel. Now, we have to also talk about what makes Sentinel so ridiculously, ludicrously awesome. Because, fortunately, she's already got the exact ability I need to have. Tenacity of Steel, so enabled only if in melee or engaged in a duel, but, basically, as the duel goes on, she gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Eventually, if she can just basically survive for the first minute, she has doubled her melee damage base and doubled her armor-piercing melee damage base, which is already a very healthy amount because I've given her some really super awesome badass swords. So, uh, give it a minute or so, she'll be doing 4,500 base damage and 3,200 armor-piercing damage. She is going to be an absolute utter beast. Right, begin the battle. Are they going to try and charge me or are they going to fall back to try and meet their reinforcements? Because honestly, uh, their reinforcements are kind of trash. It's only 400 guys, but it looks like they want to join up with them anyway. Fine, that's all A-OK. -okay. Uh, my troops can just go and join the front line over here. No problem whatsoever. And yeah, these guys are going to be very useful indeed. Because we've got ourselves, yeah, there we go, medium swords. Love it. In fact, it looks like they're just charging straight at me. Which is uh, of interest. Right, in which case if they want to do that, trebuchets, pick your targets. I might just expose my cavalry. They're moving into trebuchet range already, so why not, to be honest? Right, right in the middle over there. Where are they going? Because, yeah, they seem to be rushing towards the reinforcements. Possibly they want to make this happen before the reinforcements show up. So, uh, in which case, yeah, expose the cavalry. That should confuse them a bit. Right, as I would have expected, their cavalry is coming to intercept me. 
Honestly, that's a okay. We can just hit these guys with a massive charge. Those guys have actually seen, yeah, the reinforcements coming in. Are we ready to begin a duel? All right, she is okay. They're saying she's going to be willing to duel. So uh, head forward, please. Uh, let's get inside duel range and make that happen. And we do have more cavalry coming in from this side too. In come the flaming shots. And uh, good stuff. Good stuff right there. So, uh, okay, she wants to do it. You know what? I'm willing to accept that. That's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Incoming more cavalry. Those guys are going to take some big losses very, very fast indeed. They're not going to enjoy this at flipping all. So yeah, in we come. In we come, in we come, in we come. More cavalry around the other side. Get them round over here. Chase those guys off if you'd be so kind. So this cavalry is already almost dead. So then we can start moving up the back of them. Lovely. In fact, you know what? Get some of these guys. Nope, they've already broken. That's fine. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. You guys just get over here as fast as you can. In comes more trebuchet shots. How are you doing right now? So yeah, right now, uh, Tenacity of Steel is just going up and up and up. So she's already, yeah, getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Look at that. 4,300 a swing at this point. She is going to absolutely flipping destroy them. And may as well just give these guys a big hit. She's about to be dead. Then you should probably, yeah, get back on your horse as soon as you can. And then just basically retreat at this point. So that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Now we've got cavalry just chilling out right here. So you guys are just basically, yeah, slam straight into all the archers. Let's see them off, please. Now you, get on your mount if you'd be so kind. I'd like you to go and find your horse if you can. Yeah, go and find your horse and then get back behind enemy lines. You'll be absolutely A-OK -okay for the time being. Plenty of cavalry is coming in as a reinforcement right over here. She gets back on horseback. Now I'm just going to pull her back for the time being. You're doing a good job just seeing off these guys. They're already breaking. That's all fine. You just punch straight through the line, please. Trebuchets, uh, start hitting whatever's left that's still in pretty good shape. You, fall back for the time being. You've done a good job there with your first duel. You, uh, get over here. See if we can actually, yeah, just do some good damage to these guys, please. So just get in there and uh, Flames of the Phoenix, please. Uh, do some good damage right there. Cavalry's taking some damage, to be honest. And oh, that's the stuff. Right, actually, all of you guys... Cavalry, start falling back, please. Start falling back. Let's get you out of there if we can. Instead, uh, everybody concentrate some fire on these groups right here. Reinforcements should be coming in at some point, but no great rush, to be honest. I mean, what can they do at this point? They're just basically falling apart, absolutely collapsing. Uh, reinforcements are coming in. Uh, lay down some fire over there. All of you guys that are cavalry, get out of there, please. Let the flipping sword infantry take care of this. While we just basically, yeah, hit them with literally everything we've got. It's beautiful. Right, deploy some more swords to go and intercept them. Uh, cover the retreat to the cav. Obviously, the cav's taken a few hits, but that's kind of their job, to be honest. So I'm not too surprised. At this point, their front line is, yeah, it's just collapsing. And there we go. The front line is just completely giving up at this point. They've got nothing left. Just keep laying down more and more fire. You guys, get over here and hit these guys, please. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Yeah, it's absolutely falling apart. They've got nothing left now. Just surround these guys, break them, and then we've got nothing but, yes, reinforcements, which is uh, very little. Only like 400 men or something. So the most dangerous part is, of course... Yeah, the reinforcing generals. Though actually, some of these guys are... Ah, Wen Chu, of course. We've already kicked your ass previously. Right, everybody fall back, please. A brand new line with all the reinforcements in place. Oh yeah, this is absolutely flipping nothing. And in fact, why is that champion so far back? For some reason, he's hiding at the back. Probably because, yeah, he's badly damaged already. We should be able to, yeah, shoot them down... Uh, with plenty of ammunition we've got left over, thanks to the reinforcements. And then, uh, we just ride in and take out all of the generals. Right, let's just get the Sabre Cavalry into position to intercept the archers. Uh, so those guys can just go in first and make sure they've got no fire coming down on us whatsoever. Here we go, they're starting to panic here. They're trying to deploy some of the G to intercept. I'm not sure that's going to work out desperately well for them. Uh, you've just activated uh, Unbreakable for a massive charge resistance. That's fine. If you're going to do that, I could just go and kill your champion. 
I mean, uh, no reason why not, to be honest. He's looking very vulnerable to me. And, yep, yeah, there we go. We'll just go and basically hit their champion in the face. So, uh, he's already going to start taking some knocks nice and fast. Lovely. In fact, yeah, he's already down to 4,000 and dropping. Oh, yeah. Dropping nice and fast there. They're trying to provide some supporting fire, but it's not going to do much, to be honest. I'd be surprised if he doesn't break momentarily. Where are my forces, by the way? Right, not in range of my archers just yet. This is fine. Should be a nice, easy pick off while I say that. There's defenders of Hebei over there who I'm assuming are, yeah, heavy halberds. You know what? Screw it. You guys get out of there. Go and take out the archers who have apparently run out of ammunition. Well, that's just embarrassing for you. Well, at the bare minimum, accidentally, their champions actually decided to re-engage me, but he's now down to almost no health, and he's kind of pulled me away from the defenders. You can do what you want, my friend. I still think you're about to die. Darn it, defenders have caught up. Pull away again. Pull away. Uh, they've got to be moving into archer range soon, right? Yeah, bloody archers. They don't really have the range of my crossbows, unfortunately. Right, let's just see off these here archer militia. That'd be great, even though they've got no ammunition. This was a real waste of horses, but whatever. These are militia troops, so I kind of don't care. The important thing is, it's staggering them. This is the most important thing you can do with cavalry. Stagger the line. Now it's not coming all together. It's coming in little waves. And there we go. Frontline troops are being absolutely picked apart. Nothing to worry about there at all. In fact, they're falling apart before they even get to the front line now. This is an absolute total collapse. Their champion's given up too. He's naffing off for the time being. Deploy my own troops. We're not dueling. We're just going to go and ride them down. Nope, they've given up. They've already given up. Right. So if we're lucky, we'll capture some of them because, yeah, we had a decent chance to capture already. So, money should be decent, because, yeah, we took down at least one general there. We've picked up... Oh, we picked up some fancy armour. And we picked up you. Honestly, commanders aren't exactly spectacular. Brave is nice, to be honest, but then again, kind of pointless on a commander, because in terms of the dueling pile, commanders are at the bottom. Even below vanguards, just because they don't generally get good single-handed weapons. And if you do have single-handed weapons, you want them in the hands of your sentinels, not your commanders. So, uh, yeah, I think we can do without you, but you've got nothing worth stealing. If you were wearing armor, I've just stolen it off you, so uh, you can be released for some money. As for you, however, okay, you're not willing to work for me either. What have you got on your file to execute you? Just a basic clay ox. Not even worth the trouble, to be honest. And this guy was apparently oath sworn to Yan Shao. Right, well, Yan Shao's dead. That doesn't really count for much, to be honest. Zhu Yu, he might still be around, one of Yan Shao's strategists. And rivals with... Not sure who you guys are. Honestly, you can just go to. Goodbye, have fun. And yeah, we'll take some replenishment as well, just to keep the troops moving. Still, that should be those guys pretty much as good as dead. And there we go, we picked up a hardened iron shell. So yeah, super hardcore armor, but slightly reduces your combat effectiveness in some ways. Also, I did have a thing, by the way. So, uh, Gan Yen, actually, we should probably give you some armor. Because, uh, yes indeed, that armor that we've actually given over to Liu Humin, uh, it's only plus nine authority. Which is not actually that useful to you, to be honest. Fine, if that had decent armor, I might have handed that over. But, well, actually, that's only armor of 20. It wouldn't hurt for you to actually have... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to remove that from you and hand that straight over. Oh, sorry, this is actually only for commanders. Sorry, my mistake. Right, we'll need to actually find her some good gear to put on at some point. Because, yeah, her armor's pretty poor at the minute. I could change her over to something a bit tougher, but even then... That's only armor of 30 for, yeah, reduction in attack rate, reduction in speed, uh, reduction in expertise. Uh, that just seems really bad, actually. Ah, but Cheng Peng has got some master's leather. Okay, I tell you what, we'll move that over to her for now because she's actually, you know, going to be doing a bit of fighting. So uh, that's reasonable. Cheng Peng, we might give that back to you later, though. Oh, you look very fancy in that. You know what? I'm going to move you Rang over to the Heart and Iron Shell. Just for, oh yeah, just for the extra armor, to be honest. Just to make sure he's 100% safe. But we've actually now got two Heart and Iron Shells. So, uh, yeah, we've got plenty of spare armor for champions floating around. We're not actually using right now. So, uh, we might want to sell some of that at some point or another. Are you actually wearing any of that? Yeah, you can have some of that. Here you go. 
and better and better. Because these guys all like each other, yeah, they're rapidly becoming friends, uh, oath sworn, all sorts of good bits and pieces. Yeah, this is why it's very useful to have everybody liking everybody else in an army. They will very rapidly be friends, and then if they're standing next to each other in battle, they get bonuses, and of course, oath sworn is powerful, because if one of them goes down, it provides temporary massive bonuses to the others. Now, with that big old pile of money, we need to look at Taishan. Because Taishan needs some changes right now, because Taishan is losing happiness, which is not good at all. The reason for that is, yeah, population is actually a little bit on the high side, and already up to max. So, uh, what I'm actually going to do, is I'm going to get rid of the county office, because that's a tiny bit of prestige, and a bit of extra income from all sources. But, 10% from all sources, to be honest, when we're already boosting by 720%, it's not really going to make a massive impact. What I'm going to do instead is actually build a temple here just to keep this place nice and happy because it's very important it stays happy. So we're going to get rid of that right now. In fact, I don't want to pay for that. It's 300. Yes, yes, I do. So a temple instead uh, will get this place up to, uh, yeah, plus, what is that? Four, then eight, then 16. So we don't necessarily need, like, you know, tons of temples or anything. These are pretty cheap, all things considered. So yeah, we'll get a temple in construction. That should stabilise this place in terms of happiness for the time being. Now that means there's going to be more corruption here, because yeah, the administration buildings would have actually got that down. But I've got myself a plan for that. Over here at Bay High, we can eventually get this place up to, yeah, office for archives and seals, minus 20% corruption on all adjacent territories, which will affect both Dong and Tai Shan. So, uh, yeah, Bay High, we need to get that place up to level 7. Next time we've got a big old pile of money, remember to do that. Dong, however, is just fine for the time being, because Dong's a little bit on the smaller side. Ah, yes, and it's also reform time, and this actually affects what I want to do right now as well. So... I actually want to get myself, yeah, more in the way of the blue, tradey, techie, educationy things. Because once you get your academies up from level 3 to level 4, that's when they start really becoming good. Because at level 4, that's plus 15% income from all sources. Which is not bad at all, given it's also boosting public order. So that's definitely worth having. Plus, character salary is not flipping nothing. So we're going to get that in right now, because hang on, over to the treasury here... Yeah, right now, 4,000 to character salaries, only about 10,000 to the flipping actual army. So, uh, character salaries is a lot of flipping money. And there's still literally an empty plot just sitting here in Luzhang. Right, Luzhang's a bit of an odd one, to be honest. Do I actually want this to be a garrison town? Well, it's here, so it may as well stay. Uh, then, yeah, there's a county office here, together with a guest house, which produces some commerce income, I suppose. Uh, Lumber yard is, hang on, what sort of money is that technically? That's peasantry money. So that's odd. And fishing port is, I think that can produce a bit of peasantry too. Right, so this place can basically just make a bit of peasantry, I suppose. Uh, and hang on, which of the buildings actually supports that? One of these actually helps with that. Yeah, actually, if you go down the route of, uh, yeah, food production up and also peasantry income up, I mean, I suppose it would help at least a little bit. We'll have a bit more food off the fishing and a bit more money off the peasantry. It's not great. Yeah, Liu Zhang's a bit of an odd little territory down here. Yeah, there's actually a bunch of territories that could do with a bit of rationalisation here. So we've also got ourselves, uh, yeah, Peng Cheng here. And right now, that place has actually got a merchant registry office, which is boosting commerce by 100%, but there's no actual commerce income here. So this place is actually losing money. Right. Boost this place to level 5, please. Open up a 4th slot. Get down an inn or something. Let's actually start making at least a little bit of money, please. And Mi Hang actually just became a pacifist during that battle. Because, ah, he never gets involved. He hangs out at the back. Got it. Problem is, yeah, mustering turns just went up. Which is actually not great, to be honest. So, okay. Plus 4 cunning's good, I suppose. So, uh, that doesn't cause a problem, does it? No. Sometimes when people pick up traits... It can mean they fall out with people they used to be friends with, but it looks like everything's fine here. Right, time to see what's up next, because yeah, Sun Jan's actually blocking my path to Cao Cao's final city, so uh, probably they'll just flee at this point. And Gon Sun Zan actually heading further and further north. Sun Jan is, yes, indeed fleeing. And Liu Bao, we're technically at war with him right now. Haven't seen much movement yet. Need to go and take care of him. Yan Shu is also uh, heading north. 
Not sure where you're going. Are you at war with Gons and Zan? I think you might be, actually. Uh, no. Looks like no major movement this turn. Gotcha. Though, oh! I think Bohai decided to surrender. Right. So, uh, I don't need that place to be, what is it? Yeah, level 6 right now. Get that down to a level 5. Uh, take a big old pile of money, please. There we go. Lovely. Oh, this is marvellously good news. Huang Zhu basically just forced Liu Bao to go to war with Yan Shu. So as a result of that, yes, actually, Yan Shu might go and take those guys out. Which is kind of perfect, to be honest. That's very, very useful indeed. However, there's been a bit of a building collapse. Dear, oh, flipping dear, what's going on here? And this is a, ah, Peng Cheng, where we were just actually upgrading the entire city. So either suspend the construction, spend 500 to get it going again, or... Spend 750 to get... Wow. Satisfaction faction-wide for 5 turns plus 10. Yeah, bloody hell, pay for some doctors. Lovely. Ah, yes, and Yin Li is almost at Chen, where we've been demanding people show up for bloody ages. And there we go. So that's actually 10 turns of support from soldiery. Retinue up, keep down. Replenishment up. Satisfaction up for vanguards. Lovely. In fact, actually, I believe that's all the outstanding missions. So, Faction Council. Yes, all of you guys, your missions have actually been fulfilled. So, invoke the full council for the first time ever. Marvellous. So, raise any force whatsoever. That's all absolutely fine. Embed a spy within... Okay, those guys are really nothing, but whatever. And what else do we have here? Settlement administration, upgrade any city. No problem. Administrative office as well. No problem whatsoever. Move any character to the Yi farmland. Well, I've got some people nearby to that. That's no problem whatsoever. And yeah, artisans. That's the first time that's shown up. So... Bit of extra money off industry too. Still, that's all worth doing because, yeah, the bonuses are worth the inconvenience of doing it. So, you, my good man, um, head straight back up to Yi Farmland, actually. <laughs> but then again, will you actually get there in time? Honestly, I might just break you down. I don't need you for anything right now. Someone will be there sooner or later. But then again... You know what? Just in case you can get there in time, head over in that direction. Four and a half turns, you'll get there. Lovely. And Mi Heng's army looks like it's doing, yeah, absolutely perfectly fine. Uh, send those guys north, if you'd be so kind. We've got military access with you guys, that's no problem whatsoever. Can you make it to that town next turn? Yes, yes you can, easily, love it. And Bohai already belongs to me. We'll probably need, yeah, some serious repairs because those guys were just starved out. So irrigated farming, peasantry and food production up. Conscription office. Okay, you don't see the military buildings showing up that often. So population growth down. Experience bonus for new recruits. Plus two starting rank for all recruits. Not bad, actually. If you knew you were going to be training your troops at one particular location. Not bad at all. Together with, yeah, merchant registry and guest house. So a bit of an all sorts territory right there. Nothing too dramatic, though. And there are the survivors from that battle. Love it. So those guys are, yeah, not doing so hot, actually. I think they might have run out of supplies, too. Oh, good news over in Taishan, though. Yeah, with the new temple down, public order over here is finally stabilizing, which is marvelously good news. We could actually... Ooh. That's got to be the good thing right there. Upgrading at the guest house to a grand guest house. Absolutely love it. Or we could actually, yes... Get ourselves the schools down here. So, two different chains to high level of schools. Either modest population growth, plus 10 public order, and then up to 300 income from culture, which is very hard to boost. That's basically just a flat payment to 300. Or massive population growth, plus 10 public order, plus 30% income from all sources. But it's a lot more expensive. Like, hugely more expensive. But... In very high-producing settlements like Taishan, that's the direction you want to go. Smaller territories, I'd argue, yeah, the Grand Academy of Poetry, a better idea. Just because 300 flat is probably worth more than plus 30% to all income types. But yeah, for the time being, I think I'll actually take, yeah, another 25% and 40 base by just getting the Grand Guest House set up. So uh, that's going to be my priority for the time being. Still, Taishan is now stabilised, which is very good news. Ah, yes, and bear in mind, I've got some nobodies sitting about in my court right now because you're the losers who failed to infiltrate the societies I sent you to go and spy on. Still, I was just given the mission uh, to go and spy on these guys of all people. I've no idea why. They're tiny and insignificant and... Do they even border me? Okay, they technically border me, but not in any meaningful way. But, alright, 
if you insist, we'll go and send a spy in that direction, I guess. And just keep sending more people down to Sun Jan. We really need to get eyes on Sun Jan at some point. Now, the forces of Yu Rang. Head down to the border here. What can you see? And I see you right there, and we might just be able to attack you, but you'll probably flee. Are we actually back up at full strength? Yes, we pretty much are as far as I can tell. Move in, launch an attack, and oh. Is that Cao Cao himself right there? I think it is. He's desperately training another army. Right. We fought Cao Cao once upon a time, and... Okay, he's not out of tricks yet. He's got himself a champion with... Is that just a massive... It's a battle axe. Okay. Good, but not necessarily great. One advisor here who is uh, unremarkable. And Cao Cao himself, who has got the trust of God... So, uh, reduction instinct, increase in authority of plus 24, but very, very powerful. Okay, so uh, Cao Cao is not nothing, and he's going to be leading uh, the final battle by himself from this tiny, tiny, crappy fishing port. How big is that, by the way? Not very big at all. If we're lucky, he might be willing to come out and fight me, I'm not sure, we'll see. The advantage we've got here is, yeah, right now they're not done growing, but I can't get to them until next turn when they'll be, yeah, much stronger. Bit of a shame, but for the most part, yeah, this is new stuff, level 1 stuff. My stuff is only about level 4 or 5, but it does still give me a bit of an advantage. And Yu Rang can, ooh, can Yu Rang take out Cao Cao? I'd like to think he can. The only downside is, yeah, the big hitting ability for champions is Binding Fury, which Yu Rang is nowhere near yet. Any chance there's a better accessory floating around for you at the minute? Something that actually gives you a bit more of an advantage when it comes to fighting? Because, yeah, right now you're using a book that lets you gorilla deploy. No, I'm going to give you a wooden ox, because at the bare minimum it just gives you a tiny bit more health. Well, the final battle with Cao Cao is coming up. Kong Rong, however, yeah... He's busy down over here. Can you actually get over the river today? Uh, no. No, you can't. But where's the main force of Liu Yao? Because it was totally just relaxing at the city. If we can catch it away from the city, that's perfect. That's actually better for me. Also, what do you guys want again? Hang on, what was the mission for Guangling? Ah, I think you just want me to grow this place a bit. Which, in all fairness, yes, it does need you not wrong. But we're going to have to do that next turn. Because, yeah, right now we can't quite afford it. And... Uh, Right now, we are leaving money on the table, I believe. Yeah, we've got tax exemption over here, just while this place recovers a bit. Yeah, the economy's doing well, but we are starting to run into problems with public order, so I'm having to cancel taxation in a couple of locations. How's Dong Lai doing? Dong Lai's not doing great either, to be honest. Which is a shame, because it's actually making good money. But yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a problem, actually. Okay, what could we potentially do to help out with you guys? Where's your money coming from? Overwhelmingly commerce, but corruption starting to sneak in too. Okay. I need to get this place up to level... Where's the next slot, by the way? It is level 7. Okay, I need to get this place up to level 7. And then as a result of that, get a temple down here as well, just to make these guys chill out. Then again, I could just actually replace the farm supply storage with a school or a temple right now. Food is under control, to be honest. I don't think we necessarily need all the food we've got. But then again, uh, giving away food, not a good idea, because I can sell it for tons of money. So don't do that. That would be foolish. Anyway, time to see what's going on here, because I feel like potentially this tiny insignificant force might be about to try and walk in and wipe out Yan Tan, which would be quite frankly embarrassing for them. But I doubt she's got the manpower to defeat the garrison. Also, Gonson Zan is really starting to turn against me. Mainly because, yeah, he's actually at war with people I'm friends with. So, uh, we're not at war yet, but I feel like it's only a matter of time until he decides, screw you, I'm declaring war. But there might be something we can do about that. Okay, I've got a plan for him, but for now, I think that's all I can do. But, we're heading in to the final strike against a couple of factions, potentially two of them next turn. Alright, Gunson Zan not attacking me just yet. Yantan is- oh! Yantan is desperately trying to get some stuff together. Sao Sao is... He's coming at me. Uh, Yan Shu is... What are you doing there? Okay, we're friends. Do not cause trouble for me, all right? Okay, this is good news. Gonsun Zan and Dong Min are no longer at war. That is very, very good news indeed. 
Ooh, and Yai Zhen Li Ting has actually died, and as a result of that, that faction is now Dan Neng. Though, uh, I doubt they're gonna be around for too long, to be honest. And here's interesting. Sima Yi, a famed recluse, has forsaken his isolation to offer his talents to a warlord. Okay, but you need to be very, very persuasive uh, to get him on board. Sima Yi, by any chance, are you gonna show up and help me out here? Also, I've got a stone rooster if I feel like I need one of those. No, sadly, he's not coming to me first. And I suspect the reason that's happening is because, uh, yeah, right now, uh, I'm deemed to be untrustworthy. Which is a real shame, because most of that isn't even my bloody fault. There we go, there's the main force. Right, Kong Rong, cross over, if you'd be so kind. And, okay. Stand right here, not too close to the city. If we're lucky, we might be able to bait some of them forward. That would be great. So we're going to wipe those guys out next turn. But for the time being, uh, Sao Sao, who has an almost full strength army backed up by reinforcements. And this is not my best force. All right, this is, uh, this is going to be interesting right here. And that guy's not nothing either. Bloody Sao Sao. Every time I run into him, he's always got a trick up his sleeve. Which is appropriate because, you know, he's Sao Sao, but whatever. Right, get in there and get this place under siege. Alright, starve him out. Because that means he'll have to come and attack me. So Sao Sao's on his way down. Yin Li is heading over to this farmland to help out there. And if we're very, very lucky indeed, uh, Mi Heng should be able to basically just walk in right now. And, oh yeah, these guys are... In a lot of flipping trouble, aren't they? Yes, yes they are. Let's see if we can actually wipe them out right the hell now. So that is actually three forces, but most of them are very badly damaged. It's mainly just the garrison. Yeah, the garrison's not much. We do actually have trebuchets here. I feel like we can probably just push our way straight in because, oh yeah, that army is nothing but damaged generals. Those guys are nothing. Oh, but here's something very, very important indeed. So, that there is the Sleeping Dragon, who was originally attached to Liu Bei, but has somehow jumped ship over to Yan Tan. This guy is basically famously, in Romance of the Three Kingdoms, the cleverest guy in the world. Like, he says, Oh, I predict that a rooster shall crow on that mountain, and that will spook the enemy army, and as a result, they'll take a step to the left. So, let's put some spikes just to the left of them, and they'll run into the spikes. And so it will happen. This is like the cleverest guy in the bloody world. And I've only got a 35% chance of capturing him. Which is a real shame. Because I would flipping love to have this guy on my side. But sadly he's a bit too clever and has a good chance of getting away. Okay. What could I do to increase my chance of capturing him? Yeah, we've already got patience on me, Heng, and he's already commanding. So uh, there's no other way I can actually boost the chance of capturing anybody, unfortunately. We're just going to have to accept that Sleeping Dragon, we might not be able to capture. This is purely a dice throw. But, if we don't capture him, and we're nice to him, like, say, we let the rest of his friends go, then he might be willing to join my faction when he shows up at court next turn. And I really, really want that guy. So as a result of that, we need to be nice, alright? We may be about to kill these guys and finish them off forever, but we need to do it nicely, okay? And we need to make sure Sleeping Dragon doesn't end up dead. He is allowed to run away or surrender. That's fine. Oh, it's such a tiny city. This takes me back to the beginning of the campaign. Right, so which is the best approach over here? Probably right here where I already am. Especially as, uh, yeah, reinforcements are going to be coming uh, from the rear. Which works for me. So you guys uh, just draw up right here. And then we can start shelling the towers at the front. But more important than that, yeah, wanna get the trebuchet right to the front, make sure it's as close as possible to what it's actually trying to attack. That's absolutely lovely right there. You see, the big thing is reinforcements are also coming from right here. And I think those reinforcements are... Yeah, those reinforcements are just going to be those two generals. So uh, don't need to send my own generals there. Deploy just a bit of cavalry, being ready to intercept them. Make sure we just basically murder them as they arrive. That should be absolutely fine right there. Other than that, yep, yeah, that should be about your lot. Good, good, good. Start the battle in that case. Start the battle. And uh, yes, indeed, I thought so. You go and hunt him. And you go and hunt him. 
So both of you guys, uh, we just basically completely swarm and... Oh, they both died. Okay, so that army is completely dead because it was two people and they had like no health. So that's good and... Hello. They're coming to attack me. That's actually kind of nice in a way, yes. The problem is I've actually yet exposed my trebuchets a bit, which is not so good, but... Oh, this is going to hurt, by the way. Yeah, I thought that might hurt just a little bit. They're just charging out to try and take me on in the field because they know otherwise I'm just going to keep shelling them forever. So that's good. And yeah, I need to actually bring up my range troops to as close as possible to range. So all of you guys uh, just get forward and start shelling these guys as soon as you can. Because these guys are... Yeah, they're archer militia. So my crossbows can outrange them, which is absolutely what I want right there. And those guys are going to start taking terrible, terrible damage in no time whatsoever. Go for these guys right in the middle. Just basically hit what you can. I don't know what they're planning to do. But at this point, my trebuchets are going to be doing a terrible, terrible work to these guys. They've got a clean shot. It's lovely weather. This is going to be... Yeah, they're not even that far away. So accuracy should be pretty decent. And oh, oh yeah. That was a bit of a fluff shot, to be honest. But it was still pretty bloody brutal. There's Sleeping Dragon right there, who unfortunately has already taken a few knocks. Need to be careful with him. Love it. Absolutely love it. You guys, yeah, go for these guys over here. There's a few troops on the plaza, but it's nothing much, to be honest. I don't even know what they're trying to do at this point, but just keep going for them, to be honest. Just wail on them while they're in a good position. And let's see if we've got some bad hits on this occasion. Yeah, that was some good stuff right there. Right, they're now moving forward uh, into range. You guys are firing at will, right? Yes, you guys have got fire at will. That's all absolutely fine. Sleeping Dragon just yelled, shut up and die. Would have expected something a bit more eloquent from him, to be honest. But uh, whatever he wants, whatever he wants, really. Okay, you know what? They've got plenty of archers here. And you want to take me on, do you? Okay, just want to go and check out how tough you are before I say yes. And the answer is, oh, you are nothing. And this guy has got himself, he's got himself some decent stuff. So you know what? I'll say yes, because I should be able to basically kill her before she actually starts her abilities firing. Does she even have that? No, she's not even got that ability where she gets stronger as time goes by. So we should basically, yeah, we just basically stabbed her off a horse. Now we just go and murder her. And do I want to send my cavalry in at this point just to go and intercept? I don't know if I do. I feel like we're doing just fine as we are. They're starting to fall apart already. Maybe I want to send some cavalry forward. We're taking some light knocks here. Don't want to chase them off. Yeah, you know what? Just deploy some cavalry forward. Let's break that front line and chase the archers off before they cause me any more trouble. So, you my good man. Yeah, do your flames of the phoenix, please. Because that should actually... Will that kill her or... No, but it will significantly weaken her momentarily, so that's good. Those guys should start falling apart, yeah, any second now. She's down to basically nothing. Uh, chase these guys off, please. Where are the rest of the horses? You guys back off, please. Back off. One group of horses did get into position. Uh, chase these guys back. That's all lovely. Uh, yep, yeah, so she's falling apart. We've got flaming shot coming in. Uh, chase off these guys. Uh, do not hit Sleeping Dragon, all right? We like Sleeping Dragon. I don't want trouble with him. You guys, uh, yeah, just see if you can hit the actual infantry captain right there. And they're starting to fall apart. I don't know whether they'll actually shatter. Actually, what's left? They might be about to shatter. There's not much left on the field right now. Right, so you, uh, back on your horse if you'd be so kind. Then get out of range of the towers because towers are devastatingly powerful. So as soon as he gets back on his horse, we'll get him out of there. You're back on your horse? Yes, you're back on your horse. Fall back, please. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Good. Sleeping Dragon is now fleeing. That's what I wanted to see. Though irritatingly, yes, I am taking some big tower hits before I'm able to fall back. Uh, job seems to be done there, though. That all works for me. Also, you guys seem to accidentally be in a good position to go and capture this here gate. So you guys go and do that. But other than that, yeah, we've actually got ourselves some good troops right here who can activate themselves. Oh, this is good stuff. Right, activate shield wall and then push forward into the breach right here. So you go forward and handle that if you'd be so kind. So those troops are now advancing with their shields up in a very nice little blocking formation, which should give them a good amount of defense against the arrow towers. 
And sadly, I think those horses died rather than succeeding in taking the arrow tower. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but then again, everything seems to be shattering. I'm not sure this guy's actually going to stand and fight for long. Actually, no. He can't break because he is unbreakable. So we basically just have to go and kill him. Gotcha. Any chance he's willing to duel? No, he doesn't want to duel. But... We could just run in and murder him, to be honest. Yeah, at this point, with cover being provided by those guys, uh, you just run in and stab him in the face, please. But here we go. These guys are taking some light knocks, but they're shrugging off the arrow fire. Well, I say they're shrugging off the arrow fire. They're actually losing health very, very quickly indeed. Bloody arrow towers, eh? At the bare minimum, they're providing cover for her. Because now, she can basically run in and just smash this guy in the face. Oh, they've changed their target. Very clever, but it's not going to be enough. This guy has got, yes, yeah, 7,800 health. We can basically just go and attack him. We're going to be past the towers momentarily. In comes the charge. And you, my good man, are going to lose your health very fast. Yeah, he's already down to 4,400. Not good. Not good at all. Go and finish him off, please. And, oh, one more hit will do it. One more hit will do it. Get round there. Get flipping round there. Just one more hit. And that is going to be... That should be the win. Right there. There we go. Victory. Uh, as soon as we can, uh, claim the victory because she's just taken Nox. There we go. And that's it. That was the end of Yan Tan. They've got flipping nothing left. So that should be uh, their total collapse. We've done it. We have defeated Yan Shao. The Vassal Puppet Master has been destroyed. Now, please... Please, please, please give me Sleeping Dragon. It's only a 35% chance, but he was not killed during the battle. I get a giant pile of money because a lot of people were killed. Oh, I flipping got... No, he won't work for me. He's not willing to work for me. No, no, that's not fair. Oh, no, that's so annoying. And if I kill him, I just get a clay ox. Well, I'm not killing him. Hang on. No, this could actually work for me because... If I release him, he'll like me, and then maybe he'll offer his services to me in the court menu before anybody else. We've got ourselves, yeah, potentially a decent sentinel here. Unfortunately, she just got herself maimed by me. Sorry about that. But creative solitary is not good, though. Minus two satisfaction for this army. Reckless is fine. Perceptive is okay. You're not great, to be honest. I feel like actually... Yeah, I'm just going to let you go. Unless, of course, hang on, what are you wearing? Ranger's outfit. Okay, that's interesting. But if I kill her, Sleeping Dragon might mind because he's currently in the same faction as her. The Ranger's outfit is not great. What I'm going to do is... Could employ her. I could actually employ her. Okay, that's interesting. But then again, it only says friends and rivals. It doesn't say anything about random people in the same faction. If I employ her, I could actually take the gear off her and then immediately dismiss her. Basically release her to go and do what she wants. Yeah, that's probably the better option. I'm going to employ you and you are going to be released. And as a result of that, you're going to like me, aren't you? Yes, yeah, spare my life. I'll be indebted to you. Right, off you go, Sleeping Dragon. You do whatever the hell you bloody well feel like. And we'll just occupy this place because it's tiny so it doesn't matter. And with that, Yantan has been defeated. And that has been a mission for me to do for a very bloody long time. Still, I'll get myself public order up. Population growth up, not really an issue for me. Population growth is out of bloody control, if anything. And peasantry up, so that's good as well. So, what's the new mission, by the way? Because I'm guessing a new one's about to spawn in. The Kong fight for dominance. So if the Han are truly over, the China should be ruled. The Han aren't truly over. They're actually doing okay. The guy who's got control of the Emperor, we're actually allied with him. So, okay, this is interesting. What I need to do is control six settlements by direct ownership or through military allies. Chengdu, Changsha. Okay, where are these places? Because apparently this is what I actually need to do at this point. I just need to basically deal with a bunch of... Who the hell is that over there? I don't know who that is. Okay, there's someone way over there who's apparently a problem. And then, I'm guessing, yeah, that must be one of Sun Zhan's. Uh, then we've got this territory up here. Fine, so gone Sun Zhan's territory, I'm guessing. And then we have got, that is, hang on. Do we not own that? Who's that? Hang on. Ah, this territory. Fine, we're going to go and capture that momentarily. 
Gotcha. So basically, this is just presumably the former capitals of big factions, though uh, some of them, not so much anymore. Now, the big thing that's just happened, however, is, uh, yes, all of the former vassals have just been released. So as a result of that, Sun Jan just became independent. As indeed did Cao Cao. So as a result of that, Cao Cao is, yeah, he's now just basically working for himself. Cao Cao. Sao, 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 sao. Okay. He'd be willing to have peace, but he thinks he's still got a chance of defeating Yu Rang. So therefore, he wouldn't be willing to accept vassalization. No, he'd never go for that. Fine. Okay, the bigger one. Sun Jan. I need just a moment's peace to actually sort out my affairs, please. So how about he's willing to do it? I think me and you should have some peace, Sun Jan, all right? Just for a second, just while I'm dealing with everything else, just while I'm dealing with Liu Bao and sorting out the northern frontier, I would like some peace. And I won't even make him pay for it, to be honest. Well, hang on. While we're actually talking business, any chance you've got... Ooh, the master's attire. I might be willing to pay quite a lot for that, actually. Okay, how highly do you value that? Minus 14.3. He's poor in money and poor in food. Okay, how much do you actually want some food? Because I wanted to... Wow, not much. Okay, I'll slip you at least a little bit of food. Right, I'll also give you... Yeah, I'll toss in a clay fish. I'll give you a wooden ox. I'll give you a feather fan. Because that tends to be... Okay, now we're getting somewhere. He thinks those are actually worth a fair bit. If I just toss him some money at this point... This... This could work, actually... Oh, apparently he really doesn't actually value money that highly. That's interesting. Probably best in that case to just, yeah, try and find something else I don't really want to hand over to him in terms of ancillaries. So, uh, what else could I give you? Apparently nothing. Ah, it's a maximum of uh, four in an ancillary trade. Gotcha. So cancel that. Which is the one you think is terrible? It's the wooden ox. Actually, no. You think the feather fan and the wooden ox are both kind of terrible. Clayfish you value a bit more highly. Okay, I don't really need that stone rooster because I've got multiple statues of Confucius, which are basically the same thing, but better. So that's almost working. That's almost working right there. One off payment of two grand, one food for ten turns, and then a bunch of trash I don't want. I get myself peace, and more importantly, I get myself some ludicrously nice sexy armor right there. And there we go. We are now at peace. Alright, we won't necessarily stay at peace forever, but I just want to chill out for a second and not have to worry about him bloody invading. We've also apparently got a yellow turban rebellion over here that likes me, which is odd. So yeah, actually, best thing I can do with you guys is uh, declare an alliance war. Are you guys up for an alliance war? Okay, you guys don't want to be in an alliance war with yellow turbans, whatever. I'm just going to declare war on them anyway, because declaring war on somebody makes the people who are already at war with them like you more. And these guys are at war with everybody, so as a result of that, yeah, I may as well just do that, just for the sake of slightly cheering up all of these bastards. Ah yes, and I just picked up a giant pile of money too, so we can actually get this place upgraded. Donghai does need to be upgraded, it is looking a bit on the dicey side. Where else needed an upgrade, by the way? Was it uh, Dong? Yeah, Dong Lai, sorry. That needed the upgrade more urgently. That needed to get up to... Okay. Technically, there's already four buildings here. But is that... No, that's five up to... Five up to six. Hang on. Who needed a building so that we could actually have a new building slot there? Because I swear somebody was being weird with me. Ah, Bay High. That needed it. Those guys needed, yes, 6,500 investment to get a new slot open. Actually, no, not to get a new slot open, though I think that does open a new slot, to get this building upgraded, because magistrates are high-tier buildings. Now, 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 to court. And, okay. No sign of my friend Sleeping Dragon just yet, but have faith. Have faith, he will show up. Now, let's talk about what we're going to do with the north up here, because... Uh, I've got myself a plan. A plan and also a bit of a problem, which is one, this territory is catastrophically isolated and trapped between Gonsun Zan. So I don't really want to be catastrophically trapped between Gonsun Zan's territory. 
That's no good. That's no good at all. So, one, you guys start heading south. I don't care about the city of Bohai. It's a valuable city, but it's in a dangerous position. I don't want to try and hold out there. I don't really want this town either. But, guess who probably does want it? Gonsun Zan probably really, really wants it. Because he's already actually got the fishing port right here. So if he could have this city, he would love it. By the way, are you technically at war with Gonsun Zan right now? No, no you're not. I'm not sure what you're doing here, but you're just sort of floating around for whatever reason. I need to keep Gonsun Zan sweet. Ultimately, I might even want to bring him into the military alliance, though... Just in theory, how does everyone feel about that? Okay, no one else wants that. But, in future, if things went pear-shaped with Yan Shu, it might be that I want to actually form a new alliance with Gonsun Zan instead. So, just to hedge my bets, I want him sweet on me, if at all possible, because uh, he's starting to get somewhere. He's got a decent amount of territory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell him this land right here. And not just because it's going to make me a huge pile of money. If I sell him this tiny town here that doesn't even have walls, then at that point, he's got a city right here, and Zhang Yan has some food, basically undefended, right over here. It makes it much more likely that those guys will go to war with each other. Then he'll start expanding in this direction, and that works for me. So as a result of that, let's me and you have a chat about selling you Bohai and Zhongshan. There we go. So he really, really, really wants both of them. He would love to have access to both of them. He'd love it. So as a result of that, let's have a chat about what you can give me. Because you could give me, oh, you could give me some really nice sweet stuff. So you could give me a battle axe. That is okay if not spectacular, but I will take it off your hands, sure. So it's still at plus 36, that's lovely. And he's already equal to me in terms of money, suggesting he might actually be willing to pay me quite a flipping lot. Okay, he can literally only afford 655 a turn. Okay, and how about if we were to also clear out his entire treasury? That's only 2,000 right there. So that's, that's not great. That's not great at all, in fact. So uh, what I'm going to do for now is... I'll take Zhong Shan off the table. Alright, so now, now what we do instead is, uh, yeah, we'll take the actual money off the table too. So we're at minus four. Right now, yeah, I'm giving away Bohai. He's giving me that rather nice armor, which I do want. That's certainly true. No, not the armor, sorry. He's giving me the battle axe. The battle axe isn't great though. Battle axe isn't great. I've got plenty of big weapons. I'm going to take that off the table. And instead, ask for more money. Ah, part of the reason he can't afford much is he's already paying me 292 in return for food. So, uh, yeah, basically at this point I'm going to be taking his entire economy. But, screw it. You know what? I'm going to say yes to this because I don't want that territory. Alright? Don't flip and want it. So, we can do that right now. So that's sold in one of those. Let's actually just think what we can do uh, to maybe get the other. Because quite frankly, I might be willing to give him a really good deal. Because I don't want this territory. Uh, it's just in the way it gives me a border with Zhang Yan. I don't want to have to defend it. Actually, he was holding out on me. Okay, so what I can get is another 368 gold a turn out of him. Together with that axe... If I just give him Zhongshan. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do that. Boom. Okay, that sounded positive right there. I'm hoping he'll come round to me. So now, Gonsun Zan has a big old pile of territory right there. And that works for me. That works for me because, hang on, if we just come out of diplomacy, Yi right here has a garrison. And Ping Wan right here has a garrison too. Salt mine is pretty defensible. And this farmland is a bit set back from any potential trouble. So as a result of that, we do actually have a relatively defensible border against these guys. Oh, and we've just picked up so much good stuff. So much good stuff. Right, so, Gan Yen, would you actually like that new stuff? So yeah, your thing right now is, uh, that's only plus three. This is, wow, that's a 44 base and plus 12. Oh yeah, you get that, and... Looking fancy, actually. Loving the new headdress. Very nice. 
And as for the rest of the money, yeah. Get the schools moving upwards inside territories that have public order problems. Dong Lai is not tax exempt at the minute. Yeah, those guys are starting to stabilize at least a little bit. But we need to do something over there. Yeah, these guys need to be moved over to... Uh, right now it's four. They need to get up to seven. It's no good. That's no good at all. That's some way off. But... They're stable for the time being, at least. Keep an eye on them. We might need to actually cut their taxes at some point. And yeah, more public teachers down over here. This territory north of the Yellow River is potentially going to be a bit tricky to hold. But it is at least well fortified in terms of garrisons. And yeah, what I'm really hoping for now is uh, Gon Sun Zan looks over at Zhang Yan and says, Hey, I'd like the rest of this commandery. And while we're at war, I'll just start expanding in this direction. That would be great. Now, that was one reason why I wanted to feed some territory to Gon Sun Zhang. But the problem is, he's not a duke yet. And uh, I've got a bit of an issue, which is, small reminder about Kong Rong. He's a loyalist, meaning he is not allowed to declare himself emperor. Even if I paint the entire map my colour, I can't make myself emperor. Technically, I haven't won the game according to the win condition. Instead, I need to take somebody else's imperial seat. And that means that other people need to themselves get up to the rank of king and thus declare emperor so I can have their seats off them. Which means I actually need somebody else who's not me to actually decide to declare themselves emperor. Now, the first person to hit Duke on the map was actually Yan Shu, despite the fact his territory is tiny, because he's got his special currency that gives him bonus legitimacy. So as a result of that, he's bigger than he should be. Now, he just did declare war against Liu Bao, which is great, so hopefully he'll go and take that and also mop up these vassals down here. I'd like to just help him along a little bit, if I could, because uh, I think right now, yeah, his treasury's looking uh, pretty good, all things considered. So what I'd actually like is, uh, yeah, this territory down over here, you've got this city, I've got this here farmland. I don't think it's actually particularly good farmland, by the way. Hang on, what is it? It's, uh, just give it a quick check. Level four. So that is actually generating for me eight food. I don't need that eight food because I don't have the city so I can't boost it in any way. But I'm willing to bet you're willing to pay money for it. And I kind of want you to have as much prestige as possible. Yeah, he really, really wants this because he wants to actually finish up this little territory of his. Now, have you got any good stuff you can hand over to me? Because I'm really in the mood for collecting more things. No, tragically not. So in which case, hand over all the money in the world, please. Okay, he is really not willing to pay much, actually. Only 870 gold a turn for territory. That's not much. I might request some of that up front in that case. No, I don't get much of a better deal doing it that way either. Okay, in which case, you know what? I will just give you this territory for 850 gold a turn for 10 turns because I'm nice like that. There we go. So he just gets a bit more prestige for having that territory. So at this point, yeah, basically having built an empire, I'm now sort of planning to give it away because I need somebody to become king so that I can immediately go and attack them for having the sheer audacity to be king. And Liu Bei is nowhere near that, which is a shame because, yeah, his unity like Yan Shu gives him bonus territory. But sadly, yeah, he just doesn't have enough territory to actually get up to a high level. Even though, actually, he's probably got about the same amount as Yan Shu. Yan Shu's just done a better job actually consolidating his holdings and upgrading his cities in this game. Still, with the surplus looking exactly as I'd like it to, oh, that's good stuff. That's good stuff right flipping there. 4,000 gold off diplomacy. Love it. I think we know what's next. It's the fight of our lives, or to be precise... The fight of Sao Sao's. Because this is it. If he loses, his faction's dead. He's dead. Everybody's flipping dead. And here we go. He's coming out. And uh, he's actually got... Yeah, that's that's a lot of guys, actually. That's a lot of people. But most of it's trash. Okay? Most of it's pretty much trash. But even the generals are not to be underestimated. That is... Uh, that's some good resolve. But I'd say my resolve's better. You rank can probably take out their guy though hang on hang on hang on hang on one thing we need to check here what's the ability that you've actually got access to damn it he's got binding fury with binding fury he can probably actually beat you rang which is a bit of a problem because you rang doesn't have that and it's very crucial indeed but then again you rang's got a ton of armor 
This guy's got some armor, but not much. Ideally, I'd probably rather try and get Yu Rang to assassinate Cao Cao, which sounds like it could be a problem, but that golden armor, only 55 armor. That sword is a bit of a nightmare, but how much health do you actually have? Only 40,000 versus 55. I think we could probably take Cao Cao. Okay, we know what we need to do here. The trebuchet needs to do the flipping work. The cavalry needs to do the work. And actually, they don't have much cav. Actually, they've got basically no cav. Okay, we've got advantages going into this. They may outnumber us two to one, but we've got the trebuchets, we've got the cavalry, and I think we've got the better generals too. In fact, hang on a minute here. Sao Sao's army, three archers. Then we've got one archer right here, three archers over here. The garrison's largely archers. Right. Our cavalry is going to be crucial. We need to use our cavalry to absolutely annihilate that archer core. Okay, so we got ourselves a fair bit of forest floating around here. Not the worst thing in the world, but I want open ground uh, for my trebuchet. So that means I probably want to fall back over here to the corner. Let them come at me, which they probably will, because if they don't, I'll just slowly creep forward and eventually we'll just trebuchet them, so that'll be fine. We do our flaming shot but we still don't have flaming arrows, unfortunately. Now, even though they don't have much in the way of cavalry, I may as well put my spears on the flanks just for safety. But the real danger is if they get up to my front line, my front line's flimsy. Experience, but it's basic militia troops. It's not great stuff, really. Though on the plus side, this forest will be rather useful. Cavalry group one, over here. Cavalry group two, over here. Let them just walk at me, we can pick off the archers, and that's the crucial bit. We have to pick off those archers. If we can't do that, my front line is going to be torn apart, because the G have no defense against them. On the other hand, yeah, we need you, Rang, uh, to do something good. Begin the battle. Let's see if we can just get a feel for whether they're willing to fight. So, uh, Sao Sao doesn't want to duel, but is apparently stronger than me. Their general is, yes, yeah, similar strength, but I am worried that he's got Binding Fury and I don't. Okay, could be a bit of a concern. You rang. If Sao Sao is willing to fight at some point, you might want to go and just attack him and then retreat later. Because, yeah, as he's stronger, all you need to do is survive for 1 minute 29. Then you can actually retreat without there being any penalties whatsoever. In fact, actually, your retinue picks up some nice little benefits, so... Uh, That'd be worth doing. Anyway, we can see the army falling back, but we're, yeah, not really getting full visibility of them. They're disappearing out of view. We'll just wait and see what they do next. Bear in mind, I can just wait because they're the ones who attacked me. So uh, they shouldn't just stand back and wait for me. They should come for me. And Oh, you rang is looking so good these days. All of that silver bordered stuff. It's lovely. All right, units are starting to reappear over there. We have brief sight of, yeah, just some basic G militia marching in this direction. Probably reinforcements just joining up with the main force, because, yeah, the reinforcements were just G and archers. And here we go. The army starts to emerge here. So, it is now heading in my direction, and you can see there, it's a hell of a lot of archers. Those guys uh, need to be cleared out. So, okay. Slow down time here for a second. Let's just zoom out to the tactical map here. So those guys are now heading... Not exactly at me directly, but then they might not know exactly where I am. Looks like these forces over here. Yeah, we just let them come for the time being. These forces might be a bit in the way. I might want to move them just a little bit in this direction. And then, yeah, loop around the back, smash over here. Simultaneously loop around the back, smash over here. They've got very little cavalry. In fact, hang on. They've only got one inch of cavalry. Where's the one bit of cav they do have? I don't know. I don't have eyes on, but then I can't actually see the entire army. It's being partly obscured. Oh, they've just changed direction, possibly because they just became aware of my trebuchet. Fun thing, by the way, when you hold down space, which you mainly do to actually see, yeah, the radius of ranged units, it does actually show you what you do and don't have visibility of by graying out stuff you can't see, which is a very cool visual effect. I do like that. Okay, they're definitely heading straight at me now. They know where my main army is. I do not want to expose my cavalry until they're already in trebuchet range because I want to be firing on them before they start being disturbed and not sure what they want to do next. Still, this is all nicely tightly bunched together. This should be nice easy stuff for my trebuchets. And yeah, my cavalry will also help provide uh, visibility. 
Now, this cab is a bit further back, actually. You guys, start moving over here. Stay in the tree line if you can. Are we actually in range? There we go. No, the horses have been seen, but it doesn't matter. Those guys are going to open fire immediately, and in comes the first volley. And a bit of damage, but we're going to start burning down some forests, so whatever. Yeah, go right for the middle. Prioritize hitting the front line, because I need those guys to actually fall, and... We're almost ready. I think actually, you know what? I think I'm ready to charge in. Those guys are... Yeah, they're deploying spearmen over there to try and intercept these cavalry because they know these guys are here. Oh, we're starting to hit them. But they don't know about these guys. No, they don't. Go, 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 go. Right, let's get in over there. They do have spears, but those spears aren't doing anything for now. These horses are going to come charging straight out. You guys, get over there. And yeah, just straight over to these lot if you'd be so kind. Avoid the spears. Avoid the spears. Stay out of their way. Just get straight down the middle. Straight through the middle. Straight through the middle. Straight through the middle. We're already starting to hit these guys. Yep, cavalry are going to smash into those guys. Round the side over here. And now immediately over here. I don't care if these guys take massive casualties. It kind of doesn't matter. Get out of there though. I don't need you fighting G and spears. Instead, yeah, just start hitting these guys. Did you guys get 1,500% charge resistance? All right, good call. Good call. But it doesn't matter because we're actually still doing good amounts of damage. Even if they're resistant to the charge, they're still being chopped down. And now, start pulling back. Start pulling back. Start pulling back. Right, get over here. Start looping round. We have got trebuchet bolts just falling on these guys. And if anything, they're actually starting to, yeah, cluster even more tightly together. Prioritize fire. On this unit right here. I want those guys annihilated. Get over here. Hit those lot. You guys get over here. And yeah do what you can. We've actually got plenty coming in right now. We've got a good run. And I think actually that benefit has worn off. Yeah there's nearby fire actually. These guys don't like being inside a fire right now. No not one little bit. In come the flaming shots. And oh that's going to do terrible. 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 Terrible damage. Oh that's catastrophic. For them. Right, start chasing them down. These guys have been caught out of position. I don't care. Those guys at the back are basically sacrificial lambs at this point. You guys, get over here. These guys are very, very angry about life in general. We might be able to break this G militia right now. Just basically smash into them. See if we can break them. Push straight through. See off these guys. My troops are now firing, but look at them. They are so staggered. They're not happy about life. My cavalry pushed through here. That G militia is starting to break. Their front line is starting to run into trouble. Where's the rest of the cavalry, by the way? They've been seen off partly by Sao Sao. Doesn't matter. We have done a huge amount of really, really good damage. Those guys are starting to fall apart. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get over here. Get out of there, in fact. And instead, go and hit these guys. Oh, this is good stuff. This is very good stuff. And the trebuchet has still got five shots. Target the spears, please. Target the spears. You guys, get forward. Hit these guys if you can. This is going pretty darn well, actually. This is going very, very well indeed. You guys, pull away. Get out of there. Come on, guys. I believe in you. Get out of there. Pull straight through. Those guys have just broken. Okay, at this point, head over here instead. Even if my cavalry at this point is pretty much finished off, we've done huge amounts of damage to them. Oh, they're trapped. They're really badly trapped. If you can, get over here. Hit these guys. Chase them off. And yeah, my cavalry's starting to break. There's just too much stuff here. But his front line is screwed too. And this whole area is looking badly, badly damaged. You've recovered. Well done. Oh, bloody hell. That was not a good place to recover. Uh, back off. Lead two of his units away, please. Just get them out of the battle if you can. These guys are... Oh, I think a horse just died. No, horses are dying. They're spread all over the place. Bloody hell. Right. Um, See off these guys if you can. No, they're falling apart at this point. Okay. My cavalry corps is... Yeah, my cavalry's dead. And his archers aren't dead, but they're really, really badly damaged. And you want to attack... No, no, no. You don't get to attack him. That's definitely not happening. The trebuchet's done. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm actually a bit worried all of a sudden. Too much of him isn't dead yet. Too much of him's actually still alive. So as a result of that, start deploying my troops intelligently. We're going to need to use my heroes here, like... A flipping lot. We're nearly actually out of ammunition. He's still got plenty of ammo. Right. Deploy my champion to go and chase them off. You get over here. And yeah. Big roar ability. No, we're not fighting you, by the way. You guys uh, 
Get over here. Do what we can. This is going to be all. I'm worried, actually. Are you trying to hunt me down, by the way? I'm willing to attack you as well. All right. I'm willing to go one-on-one -on -one with you. All right. I'm happy to do that. Even if we're not dueling, I'm happy to attack you. So screw you, basically. Watch his health, though. Okay, how are you doing? Okay, you're chasing off that guy. Continue chasing them off, please. In fact, no, don't do that. Get back over here. Hit these guys. Stick by the front line, please. Stick by the front line. We just need to keep things nice and safe. You've still got plenty of health for the time being. They're just skirmishing around each other for now. They're, yeah, basically pretty much identical in terms of strength. But this guy's just drawing fire. And that actually kind of works for me. I'm going to pull him back, actually. I'm worried about that champion. I don't like being exposed with him right there. Uh, you, get over here. Break these guys, please. Are any of the cavalry coming back? No, the cavalry are not coming back at this point. Uh, you, fall back, fall back, fall back. Okay, enemy warriors are running. That's great. Can we lead these guys straight into... Yeah, lead him straight into these guys. You, fight this champion, please. I know that's going to do you some damage, but do what you can. You guys start pulling around, please. Sao Sao is coming up. That's concerning. Okay, what can we do here? What can we do here? He's just charging in and hitting my front line. That's going to be devastating. You, go and attack Sao Sao, please. Is he willing to duel? He doesn't want to duel. Go and murder him. All right, get over there. Do what you can. This is actually looking a little on the dicey side, actually. They've got a lot of firepower and their archers actually managed to recover. And our noble brother is being attacked. I'm sure we're fine. Uh, you just fall back. And yes, yeah, see if we can just hit Sao Sao. Just get him down. Go for him. Do what you can. Where are you, by the way? Oh, you're way out of position. You are way out of position. No, 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 no. Okay. If you're back over here, that works. See off all of their archers, please. Get rid of them. I just want these guys murdered. Just get over there. Kill these guys. Kill more guys. Uh, how's Sao Sao doing? 38. You're struggling to get hits on him, aren't you? Yes, I think you are, actually. Okay. I need these guys chased off. No, actually, no. What I need is you back on the front line. This is... Oh, what's the priority? Prioritize taking out the archers. Let's actually just see them off if we can. We do have plenty of troops around here. You guys get into position. Yeah, actually, you know what? Start flanking. Start doing flanking maneuvers around over here. See these guys off, please. See them off. I want these guys chased off if we can. And Sao Sao is... Okay, Sao Sao's taking some big knocks. So even though he's not dueling, this guy with his lovely big-ass axe... Yeah, actually, Yu Rang is getting in the hits right there. Sao Sao is taking big knocks. We might be able to kill Sao Sao, and that will be a massive hit to morale right there. How are you guys doing, by the way? Okay, I want a massive, massive roar of the beast. Let's see if we can actually have a chain break over here. Enemy general is... Was that Sao Sao? That's Sao Sao! Sao Sao's down! Okay... Uh, now, follow it up. Hit him with everything we've got. We might be able to have a big chain break right now, okay? These guys are... Are they affected by... No, nearby fire is annoying them, though. We've got breaks. We've got breaks. Okay, that might have just turned the battle. That could have just turned the battle right there. It's time to send in everything, okay? Send in everything we flipping got. You guys, get behind. You guys, get over here. They're sending everything forward. You guys, just stay over here. Chase these guys off if you can. And enemy units are fleeing. This is good. This is very good. You get over here and hit these guys. You get over here and hit... Yeah, hit this G militia right there. You can do some really big damage to them. They're breaking. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Right. See off more of them, please. See off more of them. We need more to break. Their champion's still in good shape. However, that's not good at all. Right. You chase off these archers. They're nearly out of ammo, which is lovely. It's time for me to send forward my own crossbowmen. They're relatively experienced. They're good medium crossbowmen. They can fight in a melee if they have to. Damn it. Their champion's still doing really good work, mind. Right, you. Get around over here. You. Just surround these guys. And uh-oh. Right, it's not all done yet. You need to watch out, by the way. How are you doing? Oh, you're not doing so hot. I need you to see off these saber militia. The problem is... Uh, we're lacking in a front line right now. We really don't have much in the way of a front line at all. So their general is a little bit on the dead side. Actually, you know what? You go and kill another general. If you can just knock down this guy, that'd be flipping great. So just go and hunt him, please. All right? The line can hold while you're just doing that. So Sao Sao is fallen. Enemy units are fleeing. That's good. 
You are, yeah, you're taking ridiculous mega damage. You're taking like 5k a swing. So he should be able to go down pretty darn quickly. Just keep him busy. You guys, we just need to get around them. Hold them in place while I just work on chasing off these guys. No, 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 no. You don't get away. They're fleeing, they're fleeing. Good, 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 good. Right, what about you guys? You could be better placed over here. I need you over here for a massive morale break. He's down to 11. Keep swinging at him. Keep bloody swinging. Come on, finish him off. That is still 11. Come on. Attack, attack, attack. Let's get him done. But in comes the big hit right over here. You hit these guys right in the back. And as soon as you're nearby, roar of the beast. Okay, let's do this. Come on. I need some breaks here. Let's start chasing them down. Go for these guys. They're wavering. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mass break. Send in everything. Send in everything I flipping got. Just keep this guy busy. Another enemy general falls. They're starting to... It's happening. They're starting to collapse. This has been a brutal smackdown fight, but it is starting to happen for us here. This is working. Get the trebuchets out of there, by the way. Okay, at this point, chase them off, chase them off, chase them off. Just knock them all down. It's still not guaranteed, though. My troops are wavering as well. Just send everything we've got. Deploy it all. Yep, our troops are still fleeing. Partly because they've still got a very good quality champion here. I think we can... We can do this, right? I really hope we can. Right, get over here. Knock these guys down. You, keep those guys busy. There's units that are... Okay, some of them are starting to shatter... But, oh, bloody hell. We've got we've got breaks all over the place, actually. Can we... No, 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 no. Don't end him anywhere near you. He's actually stronger than you right now. Everybody on this guy. All right? Everybody on this guy. Just start hitting him. Oh, you are low on health right now. You rang full back, full back, full back. Just get away from him, please. Bloody hell. Where's my vanguard? He's weak as well. This is down to the wire, and it's still not decided. Send everything we've got... They're breaking. Focus on them. Deploy reinforcements in. You fall back. Just basically send anything we've got left. Are we ready for... Yeah, Roar of the Beast. Just keep doing it over and over and over again. But my troops are falling apart. We can't take out the champion. He's shaken, but he's still not looking hot here. You guys get over here. They're broken. That's shattered. That's shattered. Okay, we're starting to see shattered appearing. That's good. That's what I want because we're kind of out of troops, actually. Some troops are recovering. You guys get over here. You've recovered. You get over here. Just do whatever it is we can, all right? Please just murder this guy. Okay, everybody get on this guy. We need to break him right now. Just go and attack him right now. Enemy units are fleeing. Just get in there. All right, two on one. It's not a duel, so it's totally legit. And he's running. Oh, bloody hell. We've done it. We've survived. But uh, what bloody cost? On the plus side, hang on. Where's Sao Sao? Sao Sao would have fallen somewhere around here. Is that Sao Sao's horse? It might be. There's a lot of horses. Not sure we can find Sao Sao's body. But Sao Sao is not dead. But at this point, he's as good as bloody hell. Oh, that's going to be a nice big pile of money. And yeah, take the replenishment because we're going to need it to actually storm the flipping town. Bloody hell. Unless, of course, no, they have not been wiped out. There's enough of them there to keep trying to defend. And Jan Shu is coming back to deal with Liu Bao. No problem there. So, peace with our alliance offered by Sao Mao. No, Sao Mao's a dick. And you'll receive a diplomatic bonus depending on who you side with. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so what's going to happen here? If I say accept, then yeah, actually, I get minus 74 with Dong Min, but minus 21 with Yan Shao. Yeah, I'll side with Dong Min in that case. So we'll reject that, unfortunately, because you started this stupid war, or possibly Hang Zhu did, I can't remember. But in either case, not my problem, all right? And Sun Jian has formed... Bloody hell, of course Sun Jan's formed a coalition with Liu Yao, and... Right! So, we've got ourselves... Oh, we've got ourselves a new baby Kong! Oh, that's nice. Kong Chan has now been born. Hooray! It's going to be a long bloody time before he's actually ready to, you know, come of age or whatever. But still, that's nice. So, what's actually happened here? Oh, you rang. Disease of the... Ah! Disease of the enemy force. Good, 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 good. So... Hang on. 
poisoning the enemy water supply. I never actually ordered that, but great. Now, am I technically at war with this guy? Because no, we're not at war with this guy yet. If I continue this war, yes, if I wipe them out right now, then at that point, Sun Zhan doesn't actually mind. We're not at war with him automatically, but I kind of need this to happen, like, right now. And all those troops are, yeah, incredibly badly damaged for the minute. I think we need to go in. And by the way, have you got... Yes, one of you's leveled up, but weirdly it was Lou Gan of all people. I'll tell you what, I'll take precision because, yeah, armor-piercing missile damage, that's pretty damn good. And Liu Human's just leveled up for no well-explained reason she just has. Well, she did just give birth to a child, so maybe she got some XP for that. I have no clue. Yeah, let's go for meditation. Unbreakable is certainly a little bit on the useful side, yes. Right, despite the amount of damage we've undertaken here, I think we need to make this happen anyway. We just need to go in and basically finish these bastards off. It is 1,200 versus 1,400. But... I've got the trebuchets, alright? That's the important thing right there. Ah, yes, of course, standard port layout right here. Right, so all we need to do is find a good angle. This one has apparently already collapsed, so that'll do the job very nicely. And under the circumstances, yeah, there's a good chance they might just come and attack me. Get these guys out and nice and lined up. If they do, that's fine, to be honest, that's A-OK. -okay. Are they going to do it? And you know what? Yes, it looks like they are. Just open fire, please. Open fire on whatever it is they've got left. Target right in the middle. That will do the job very nicely. So, yeah, that'll do. And any moment now, here come the flaming balls of fire. That's just going to be lovely. Just waiting for the flaming balls of fire. There they go. <laughs> lovely. That works for me. So, yeah, they are riding out to take me on. But at this point, they don't really have much, to be honest. Right, get some of my cavalry around the side just to make sure. Oh, that's devastating. Now, let's see if we can actually yeah, get these archers down nice and quick here. While heading the other side with my other cavalry. There's not much left on the field, but we'll just have to make do with what we've got, to be honest. They're starting to spread out here. Start heading... Oh, that was a good big hit right there. And yeah, enemy units are starting to fall apart in no time whatsoever. You guys get over here. You guys swing over here. Yeah, just basically get on top of their arch. Just make sure they can't do anything. Uh, this line's giving up before it even gets to the front. They're desperately trying to stop my cavalry from doing anything. But it's too late. It's way too late here. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, they're trying to get some shots in, but they're not going to be doing a good job here. So let's just spread out my cavalry. Basically just start murdering the hell out of them. They're trying to use their champion to resist as best they can, but it's not going to do much. Uh, trebuchets, change your fire over to, yeah, this spear band. Why not? All these guys over here, that would work too. But yeah, focus over here for the time being. Uh, Where's the rest of the cavalry, by the way? Yeah, we got some good cavalry just basically slowly cutting their way through some stuff right here. You guys, head of here. Oh, bloody hell. I think I just set fire to some of my own guys there. That's not so good. Uh, right, so they're trying to get up to the front line. But honestly, what are they going to do? You guys basically, yeah, at this point, break all of them, please, with a big roar of the beast. And you've got 17,000 to his 5,000. Yeah, go and hunt him down. I'm guessing, no, he doesn't want a duel. I don't care. Go and hunt him. Just, just go and murder. I want him dead. So you two, actually, you know what? Go together. Just for safety, I want both of you to kill him dead. So that'll be him finished off momentarily. And the cav over here is, yep, at this point, they're just shattered and broken. And this is all going very well. I think this is the end. This is the end of South Sound. In fact, what's left? I think it's going to be... Uh, no, he's already broken. So... I'm not sure how he's not dead yet, to be honest. You guys hit him. No, I want him dead. I want to see him fall. I want to see him fall. And uh, come on, guys. Chop him down. You've got lots of big pointy sticks. You can do this. I believe in you. And there's the swing right there. Who was that that got the kill, guys? I'm not sure who it was. But uh, well done. Well done regardless. The job is done. We have defeated Sao Sao once and for all. I mean, I'll give him credit. He almost escaped again by fleeing into coalition with Sun Zhan, but it wasn't enough. And hopefully we'll get a fair bit of money for this. Actually, only 500, and uh, okay, that general wants to join me. Honestly, he's not spectacular. He's got no friends whatsoever. Is he actually even that good? Have a look at his stats here. 
They're all right, but it's nothing great. I'd rather just have the Battle Axe, to be honest, even though I've probably got more of them than I know what to do with right now. So no, you're going to be executed instead. Goodbye. And the territory falls to me. Occupy that. And Sao Sao has been destroyed. But of course, that doesn't mean Sao Sao's like dead or anything. It just means potentially Sao Sao's going to enter circulation. We might actually be able to, you know, recruit him, though I doubt he's going to come and work for us. Small problem, mind. So, Sun Quan's right here. Ooh, he's actually got an army with him too. That's... that's a concern. Right, you guys, heal up really, really damn fast, please. Because, uh, yeah, we got more problems coming in yet. And Gongji is also leveled up. Well flipping deserved right there. Ah, yes, plus melee damage for shock cavalry and plus eight instinct. We'll be giving you that. That's lovely. In fact, that battle axe is... is that just a little bit better? than what I've got. Yes, it is actually. Tiny bit of extra resolve uh, together with, yeah, that's 3,400 total of the actual, whatever it's called, G of the Imperial Guard. That, however, is, yeah, 4,100 together with most of that being armor piercing. Unless, of course, the attack rate is... No, the attack rate's the same. Okay, so we should really be moving everybody over to that. Gotcha. And in fact, you're welcome to have one of those too. Why not? It feels like you're about to start running into trouble. Unless, of course, Tian Yu needs one. Ah, that's actually giving Tian Yu a bit of bonus instinct. That, meanwhile, would, yeah, lead to a massive drop in expertise. Uh, a drop in instinct, though, uh, it is a lot more powerful. I will say, that's a lot flipping stronger. Yeah, you know what, I'll keep that on you. That seems appropriate for you. In which case, just for safety, you have that. Because it feels like, yeah, there's more problems coming in yet. And I think I know what we need to do here. We need to actually knock out Liu Yao before he brings in Sun Jan. So that needs to happen right the hell now. Sadly, that army is actually present here. Though I could attack... Ooh. I could attack you. Okay. How tough is this army? And how tough is the garrison here? That is not great. Honestly, I think we can actually make that happen. Kong Rong might be able to walk in and knock that over immediately. I can't deny. The possibility of capturing Sun Quan is certainly of interest because uh, I'm not sure I can see everything about him just yet, but here we go. Uh, yeah, really special golden armor. Authority's looking pretty decent for level three. He's not even that spectacular, to be honest. I just kind of want him anyway because, you know, he's special and unique and historically important. So it would be fun to have him. And speaking of people it's going to be fun to have, yeah, all of Yan Shao and Cao Cao's most talented generals are now suddenly homeless. Meaning, uh, yeah, over in the court over the next few turns, potentially some very talented individuals are going to start showing up. And that means I might be willing to potentially let a couple of my old generals go. The old mediocre ones who haven't really done much in order to recruit some very special people from abroad. We'll have to see about that. That could be very, very interesting indeed. On top of that, yeah, the administrator army I think needs to be broken down and replaced with something more permanent. Sai Yan can stay. We need to find her some new friends because uh, Sun Shao and Jai Heng, they're not great. They're not spectacular. In fact, I had to double check his name. That's why I was hovering there. I couldn't actually remember his name off the top of my head. So if I can't remember your name, there's a good chance you need to be replaced by somebody more important. And yes, indeed, I do think I might just, just be able to pull off taking out Liu Yao's capital in a single strike if I can pull them out onto the open field, destroy them, and then assault the city straight afterwards. Giving me a foothold, finally, south of the Yangtze. That'd be absolutely flipping marvellous. A good launching off point for the inevitable conflict against Sun Jian. But in the meantime, yeah, I'd rather finish off Liu Bao. And potentially, once that's done, try and hand over basically literally all of it to Yan Shu. See if I can just coax him into declaring himself as emperor. Because if he was willing to do that... That could potentially end up being very, very useful indeed. So, plenty to come next time, ladies and gentlemen. That is coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. This has been Total War Three Kingdoms. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This, this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. Oh my god. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then in come the chariots! Oh, yeah.